Hi, Ron here from Envision Cab. We're going to cover an inroads tip that's a, a follow-on um, for one we did about a year ago that shows you how to put uh, conditional curb openings in. And a quick recap, and I'll also provide you a link in the description so you can find that previous tip. Um, but the quick recap is is that we have two different curb sections. We have driveway openings where we obviously want a mountable curb, or where there's not a driveway found, we want a barrier curb displayed. And to look at that real quick, what we've done here is these. this is a feature that's been drawn with inroads and that can be used as a target for this mountable curb. If I go into my template, I'll show you how that works real quick here. And um, if, if I look at this, let me just zoom out a little bit, I'm going to turn on display all component, components so you can see both solutions in there. If I go into the test, Again, let's get some real estate here. And if that match line is found or that feature, you can see that we get the mountable curb. If that's not found or fails, then we want solution number two, which is the barrier curb. And we'll also see that if we get into roadway modeler here, that template's been applied to this corridor. And as we model here, you can see we get the barrier curb. And if I get up here to an area where we've got that mountable curb, or that um, that uh, reference feature is displayed here is that um, feature that represents the saw cut or the match line in the driveway. You can see how it changes as I get up to that point. You can see how the curb switches. So you'll have to look at the previous tip we walk you on through how to do that. Now I've had a little bit of feedback on this where people have said, well we tried that and we couldn't get it to work. Even though it looks fine in roadway design or preview, when they get to their cross sections it doesn't seem to be successfully completing. What you have to keep in mind is that you are modeling or extruding 3D shapes with inroads. And I'm using Select Series 2 here. This is true if you're on a different version, including Select Series 3. So to illustrate that graphic, I'm just going to close this, switch views here. And you can see what's happened here is I'm in an isometric view. This is after the quarter has been modeled and I've got it in a rendered mode. You have to ex model often enough that it extrudes a shape so that your cross section can section through it. And you can see even here we're going from that barrier curb to the mountable curb. There's a gap in here where inroads doesn't know what to do. It's transitioning um, in between features that aren't common in between the two template drops. We actually have a little bit of a gap here. Now as far as modeling or uh, creating our, our roadway, that doesn't create too much of a, a problem. But you can see this is that feature I'm targeting. Unless I put key points or event points on that, I'm not going to have a real um, clean switch in between uh, uh, solution A and solution B. And if you just drop a template, maybe one right down the middle of the driveway, might look fine in roadway designer. But when you get to cross sections, you're not going to have these extruded shapes for the cross section to um, extract the, the geometry from. So just keep in mind, you have to model enough to create those 3D extruded shapes. If I did a cross section through here, obviously that wouldn't be very good either. So this particular one I model every two feet, but you do have to create those shapes. That's it for this tip, and thank you for watching.